Uh, my name is Dylan Charles. I am a production assistant in reality TV, regular TV, and film. Okay. Can you list some of the shows that you've worked on? Um, yeah. Uh, reality, I've done Tanisha Gets Married, um, J. Allen Snooky, Season 1 and 2, uh, Jersey Shore, The Job. It's, it's, that's a reality, but it's more of a... Um, a game show type reality, I guess you would call it, that genre. But it's called The Jobs Actually on right now on CBS. Uh, I think that's all I did in reality TV. How did you get started in film? Um, I went to school in Orlando, so I was supposed to go to Full Sail to do audio engineering, and then it ended up not working out. So I went to Everest, which is also in Orlando, and I took up some film classes there. But um, because of financial reasons, it was like the height of recession, I couldn't really stick with it, so I had to go back home to Atlanta. Um, long story short, um, I seen a commercial on TV for the Made in New York program. In Atlanta? No, well, in New York. I was in New York on, on vacation. So I actually went to go try out. I didn't make it the first time um, because one of this, the criteria is where you had to be living in the state of New York for, um, I think it was like six months to a year. You had to be a legal resident. Yeah, I came back to New York, um, tried out for it again, and actually got in this time, and I've just been going since there. I think the whole, I feel though that the me getting fired was is definitely a blessing in disguise because I wouldn't have actually came back to do the program and I wouldn't be where I am now. Okay. So what was the training program like once you were accepted? Uh, it was, it was really tough, I'm not going to lie. You know, we had to be there because when you're in a regular job, if you ever had a regular, when you're in a regular job, you, you have eight hours a day, you have an hour lunch or half an hour, whichever the state allows and then that's it, you go home. You can do overtime if you want to, but that's it. In film, there's the average day is 12 hours. If you get, a, get a, um, off before that, you're lucky. But the average day is 12 hours, and most, depending on what you're doing, most jobs, 16, 17 hours. So they kind of modeled it after that, where we, we may get there like 7 in the morning. For and, the training program. Yeah, for the training program, we may get there 7 in the morning, but now we don't leave to like 5, 6, 7 at night. And like you're learning stuff all day, you got to think, Wait, you're saying five, six, seven in the evening? Yeah, in the afternoon, in the evening. Mm, okay. Yeah, so and you get maybe, I think, two 15-minute breaks, but either than that and like a half an hour lunch, you're constantly learning, learning, learning. So it's, it's in a sense, it's like it's boot camp in that sense, and when you're doing it, like, man, like, this is tiresome, like, especially if you've never done that t those type of hours before in a classroom, um, like, I don't want to do this, this is tiresome, but honestly, if you stick with it, it pays off. Um, so, what was your, do you remember what your first PA placement was? Um, yeah, well, when, before you graduate or get your certificate, they um, put you on internships. And I don't remember the name of the first movie I did, not, but mm -hmm. it was in the office um, in the World Trade Center buildings. Um, so, or World Trade Center Tower, not the actual building, the mm -hmm. tower. Um, so, it was in the office, and it was an office PA job, and, um... I basically, in that job, I just kind of, they learned, they showed us how to use um, the Mary website to do different locations, find locations and book locations, you got to um, get permits and different things like that. So they taught us that in actual program, so when we went to the office, me and um, another coworker, Shayna Evans, we were both together, so when they knew we knew how to do that, okay, well you do this, okay, well do this, and if you don't know how to do this, that's fine, but just let us know and we'll show you how to. That was the most important thing. Of if you don't know, because again, it's don't, nothing Don't get by not with it. Yeah. Say it. Yeah, just say it. Like I said, it, it's good to be, it's crazy, because it's good to be, just try to do it sometimes, but at the same time, if you really don't know, they much rather you say it, then you try something, you mess it up. But it's like, you just got to kind of feel the person that you're working with to see which one is better for you. Okay. Um, what have you, uh, what kind of different tasks have you done? You've done some office stuff. What are the, some yeah. of the other... Um, tasks that you've done? I've done office, I've done set, um, I've done... When you say set. So, so we're work, working on set, um, which entails, let me see, on a reality show, um, set is different because it's morally, the ones I've done anyway, um, it was morally just, you. they may put you with a crew and then you drive the crew around, or you may be a release PA, which is basically whoever is seen on camera that is not in the actual production as far as the um, talent. You have to get them to sign a release and take their picture to say, I acknowledge that I've been filmed so they can actually air it on TV. Um, then you have 
people that stay on set but on actually by the house to just help clean up the house or do different runs or and pick up different things that they may need. Um, on TV shows, um, you're basically you may be locked as a PA. You'll be locking up the street, or which is just basically if you're locking up the street, the sidewalk rather, you're making sure no one comes down the sidewalk. There may be like talent that, that's walking down for a certain shot, so you let them through, but you don't let other people through. Or you may be um, you may be locking up too, but then making sure that people that can walk down the street, they they allow they allow mm -hmm. that that you make sure they keep moving, so that way they don't stop and look straight in the camera because that kills the shot. Right. Yeah, okay. that kills a shot. So a sweeper is what they call it. Be a sweeper. Okay. Yeah. Um, as far as movies, a movie set, um, there are many different jobs. As a PA, you can do those same things as the um, reality and TV show. But also, which job I first, the last job I was on, I had this job, was I was a set PA, but I drove the swing truck, which is the overflow truck. All the things they can't fit in the regular trucks, they put on my truck and I drive it to sell or I do pickups for them and runs and basically that job was different because that's all I did like I may they may become the set at um, 9 or 10 and usually as a PA you report an hour to 12 before but depending on what they were doing and what they mm -hmm. needed I may be there from 6 in the morning so I, I may get there at 6 and I may not leave to like I think one day I got there at 6 and I left at 4 the next morning so like I said but I, but I sat in the truck the whole time. Like, I'm, the most I did was I got out and I lifted the gate for them. And it wasn't because I didn't want to do anything, but that's all they needed me to do. They just needed yeah. you to be ready. So if something had to happen, you would be yeah. on it. Okay, so there's a lot of strategy. Yeah. yeah. And you know that, but that's another thing they taught us in Made in Europe, too, is, you know, you have to strategize and you have to have goals and not, because, like, everybody makes goals, you have to have realistic goals.